Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. This video is going to be the next instalment for Claire's weekly makeup basket thing and this time round we're going to switch it up completely. Some of the things have been taken out of projects or the project's been finished so we're going to basically start with a whole brand new basket which is fun for me because I enjoy like the closing off of things like ticking things off of a list, things that are closing, emptying my empties box, you know that type of a thing. I like things that have a conclusion I guess is what I'm trying to say so even though this isn't a conclusion it's a midway point it's not even a midway point this is going to go on for as long as I'm panning but it's like this current box is not working for me anymore so we're gonna change it and basically it's a brand new box so that's what we're gonna do probably gonna do the top down thing again so consider this your intro again let me know if you prefer it this way I am still aware of the fact that my skill level is not that great with the handheld device. I am looking at other ways that I can improve that. I'm hoping that some things I might be able to get either for Christmas or just after Christmas. So you're, ju you're just going to have to bear with me. If you'd rather in that time me go back to the old way, please let me know so that I'm producing enjoyable videos for you. I don't want to sit here and say that you have to put up with the really bad filming quality because I can just go back to talking to you face to face and showing you the things. So just let me know how you want me to proceed and I will take that on board and we can do that. That's absolutely no problem. Anyway, I'm going to stop talking now. Some point here somewhere I will insert the clip of me going through the basket. Okay, so for my box this time round we're going to do how we normally do it in terms of picking out things as I do my face. That was a really long way of saying primers first. So for primer I have the Maybelline Baby Skin Instant Pore Eraser. I'm not using this primer right now. I am using the other one which is the um, Cool Rose Blur Perfecting something or other. Um, but I'm putting this in the box because the other one stays on my desk where I do my makeup for filming. So I have the uh, Maybelline Matte and Poreless Fit Me Matte and Poreless Foundation. I'm in the shade 120. This is my one of my only foundations at the moment. I do have the Fenty because Andrew got it for me, but I don't want to start panning the Fenty or using the Fenty when this one is going to go out of date before then. So I have the Mac Fix Plus spray. I have this. This is the unbranded BB Super BB Balm uh, Skin 79 is that at the bottom? I use this on days where I want less or next to no coverage as you can see I have been using that up this probably won't last for much longer to be honest again with the primers I have the OCC Lip Tar I don't know why I still have this I don't use this in fact that's going in the bin because I don't use it uh, NYX Concealer um, I have this. This is a um, this is that Rouge Bunny Rouge uh, liquid bronzer. I have the Lord and Berry concealer pencil, which I'm still using, hasn't died yet. Oh, and I have the Laura Mes Laura Geller, sorry, um, balance baked and balance something or other baked balance and brighten foundation in the shade fair. As you can see, I have major pan on that. Um, I use that to set the BB, the BB cream on the days that I don't want too much coverage. I have this. This is the Urban Decay 24-7 Glide On Pencil in Trick. This is my primer for, not primer, but like coloured base for my eyeshadows. I have the Model Co More Brows. This is really seriously getting down there now. Like I need to go in like four or five times every time I do one brow. So I have also added in the, what is this? Meech and Mia Brow Liner number 22. It is like a cool toned brown, which is perfect for me right now because I have cool toned brown in my hair. These single eyeshadows. This one I'm oh this one I'm still supposed to be testing out as a highlighter, which I haven't done yet. So I will put that in my box. Definitely remember to do that this time round because I need to decide if I'm keeping this or not. I think I'm gonna put this one in and then put the Trolls one back in my collection for now. Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder. I know we said we were going to do this in terms of face, but at this point, this Ico Eyeliner 
It's a matte liquid liner felt tip type thing. I really, really like this. Really like this. And normally I don't have products like this because I hate doing a wing. Hate doing a wing. One, because I'm not good at it. And two, because because I'm not good at it, I can't get close to the lash line and I have sort of half hooded eyes, which means that if I do too big a wing, it takes up my entire eyelid. So I need to do like really, really close to the lash line. And this was so easy to use, so easy to use. I'm really glad I have this and I'm gonna keep using this. I'm putting it in my box this time around because I really enjoyed using it. Mascaras, I have these two still. I'm still enjoying the Ciate Wonder Wand. Eyeliner, I had this in. This is the Avon Colour Trend. I think I'm going to put this back in because I'm getting quite good use out of this and it is in one of my project pans. So this time I'm going to, I had in the NARS blush, this one, which is in Deep Throat. But I'm taking that out. I did get some good use out of it because it was in for a couple of weeks, I think. As you can see, I've got some use out of it. You can kind of see I've got use out of it. I can see that I got use out of it. Anyway, and I'm going to put back in the NYX Mosaic Powder, which is no longer a mosaic, because I repressed it. And you can still see the rings of the pan. So I'm hoping that if I put this in the basket, I'll hit pan again. Ideally, I'd like this done before the end of the year. I doubt it's going to happen. Lip liner, I still have the PS Love by Primark lip liner in some random unknown shade. Lipstick, I have this Maybelline in the shade 630. It's just a brownie nude colour. Sorry about the mess of the tip there. I'm really enjoying this lipstick for this time of year, so I'm going to put that in. Highlighter is the MUA Undress Your Skin in Iridescent Gold. This is the only highlighter I have in a project right now, so that's going to always stay in. I have this. This is in my Turn and Burn, which I need to film the finale for. That's a good reminder. I actually need to film that. But I didn't finish it up, as you can see. But there's only a tiny bit left in here. Like, teeny tiny bit left. That's how much I have left. Because half of it is plastic. That's how much I have left. So I might keep this in my basket and just get it done. Because what is the point in keeping this? And then at the end of the year, I'll do an inventory. And I'll be like, oh, I've got one eyeliner. Really? Does... I have to count this as one whole eyeliner because that's what it is. But there's like nothing left of it. So I'd rather just get it done and call it a day and add it to the products that I used up in 2017. So I'm going to put that in. Eyeshadows. I have this Essence eyeshadow in All or Nothing. I use this to set my primer or, well, in this case, set the eyeliner from Urban Decay. I wanted to use this up by January. So I think I'm going to put this in and see if I can get some more progress on that. That means that the W7 Up in Smoke palette, where I've hit goal on one and I need to finish up that white shadow on the end, that can wait until next basket, I think. This one, it can come out because I've hit goal on this. This can go back in my collection. The Too Faced one is in my throwing shade and that will be coming up soon. So I'll put that in the basket so I can get some use out of that. Too Faced Sweet Peach. I love this palette. Now, what I'm going to do is, those are coming out this time round, and I'm going to put in this one. I'm going to put in this one. Um, this is in my Cupid's Bow project, and I think I might be able to hit pan on this eyeshadow if I concentrate on it, so that's why this one's going in. And I'm going to put this one in as well, because one of these eyeshadows... This one here is in a project and it's a nice uh, fit in the crease. So I'm going to continue using that in my crease. Even with the purple, it goes well. So, um, And that's everything for my basket this time round. So I hope you enjoyed. As I said, if you prefer it the old way, let me know. If you want me to at least do it the old way until my skill gets better or I, until I get something to hold my camera with or whatever, then let me know that as well because I am very keen on taking on board your guys' feedback, giving you stuff that you actually enjoy watching. So thanks for watching. I will see you guys in the next video. Take care. Bye.